Hello everyone! So today I'm going to do a what's in my beach bag video. I'm so excited to do this video because the weather is beautiful today and I'm actually in the shade because I filmed this video before and the, the sun was just beating down on me. Um, but it's a beautiful day today and I got a new little beach like makeup bag thing so it got me all excited to do this video. But um, I hope that you guys enjoy this video and find it helpful. So let's go ahead and get started with what is inside of my beach bag. First of all, this is from Victoria's Secret pink I got it like a year ago and I think it was only like $19 so it's a pretty good deal for this bag because it's really really big and it's very sturdy so it's gonna fit everything that you need to go to the beach inside of it in this little pocket right here I have my phone and I keep it in a little plastic bag to keep the sand and the water out and what's nice is is if you have a touchscreen device you can still use it and like text or listen to music or whatever from inside of the bag and even if you don't have a touchscreen phone you still want to protect your phone from the sand and the water so definitely recommend putting your phone inside of a little plastic baggie because it's gonna save it I also have headphones to listen to music of course and then I have my little bag that I got all excited over <laughs> to do this video so this is a love pink from Victoria's Secret bag but it's actually from Bath and Body Works and it was only $12 so it's really nice quality um, it's super cute and it's pretty large it's a pretty big makeup bag or a little bag I guess and it's lined too so it's waterproof it's gonna protect all of your stuff it's just a really nice bag so first thing that I have in here of course is sunglasses and these are by Steve Madden I got them about a year ago from Marshalls and these are my favorite sunglasses ever um, I like aviator style too but I these are my all-time favorite so those I bring it to the beach and I'm just putting things on the floor. Then I have sunscreen, which this is the Neutrogena Pure and Free Baby. This um, basically is not going to clog your pores if you have like problems with acne, like body acne. Um, this isn't going to like aggravate it or exacerbate it. It's going to just protect your skin from the sun and um, it's not greasy and it's broad spectrum. You want to make sure that all of your sunscreen is broad spectrum. Okay. Then I have this one. This is the Ultra Sheer one. This is a dry touch. So I use this one on my face and it's SPF 70, but really nothing over 25 um, works because if they say like SPF 70, it's just a scam. There's like no SPF 70. Okay. Um, anyways, it just goes right into your skin. It's not greasy. Uh, that's why I love it. And it's really small and it doesn't clog your pores or anything like that. It won't make you break out. Okay, then I have a couple lip products. The first one I have in here is my favorite lip product of all time. It is the Arbonne Lip Saver Sunscreen SPF 30. And this will protect your skin from the sun, or your lip skin, your lips from the sun, which my lips have blistered before from being in the sun. That product makes your lips look glossy, it protects them from the sun, and it will heal your lips if they are chapped. You will not even need to use Medicaid lip balm, I swear. It's so good. Then I have my MAC Tender Tone and Tread Gently, which is like a green one. I have purring on right now, which is the orange one, but if I want a little bit more sparkle and if I want something that smells really good, oh my gosh, this smells amazing, um, I will use this. And it has SPF 12, which is nice, so it's not as high as the 30, but I mean, or SPF 25, I guess, but um, it's nice for a little bit of sparkle. So I really like this. And then I also have in here my Maya Couture Lavender uh, Blotting Papers. Now, if your skin does get a little bit oily at the beach, these are really nice because they make your skin look matte. So you just take one of these, blot it all over your face, and no more shine. Then I have gum in here. This is the Five Gum Solstice one. Um, I like this one, but I actually like the rain one better, the green one. I think it's a lot better. Okay. Then I have my Alme Oil-Free Makeup Eraser 6 because I don't really wear makeup to the beach, but if I forget to take my makeup off, especially if I don't have like waterproof mascara on, then my makeup will run all over the place, and if I need to take my makeup off, then I have these to do it. These are amazing. They will take off any and all makeup. They're so good. And you can get them at the drugstore too, which is really nice. So, that is all that is in my little pink bag or my fairly medium-sized love pink bag. Then in here, of course, I have my beach towel, which, okay, they have the cutest beach towels right now at Victoria's Secret. They're the pink kind, and they have, I think, blue, green, pink, and, like, neon yellow. They're so cute. Um, okay, I think I do have, like, a Victoria's Secret pink fetish. 
this one's just simple and uh, I don't know I, it's nice so I got this towel but I think I'm gonna go to Victoria's Secret and get the Victoria's Secret pink one <laughs> okay then I have oh my gosh okay I do like Victoria's Secret pink a lot this is the Victoria's Secret pink water bottle and this is huge which is why I love to bring it to the beach because I will not have to be I don't know trying to look for a water bottle at the beach or something like that or like buy one or something because this holds so much water it's insane so I love this I love that it has a handle and I'm not going to get thirsty at the beach you should all bring water bottles to the beach so you don't get dehydrated and your skin looks beautiful and I also have in here my favorite thing ever this is the one coconut water with a splash of mango I love this pretty much all I drink is water in this not kidding at all it is so refreshing and so hydrating um I, I don't know if I'm thirsty and I drink like three sips of this I'm not thirsty anymore it's insane and I guess it ha it's a good source of electrolytes too which is nice if you're dehydrated and it is delicious and what's nice is it's, it's not like overly sweet um and like gross um I don't really like things like that um like soda I don't I don't like I really never I can't even remember the last time I drank soda I love this it is so delicious the last thing in here is a bathing suit that i wanted to show you guys i would normally just wear my bathing suit to the beach but i wanted to show you this is from target and i love this because it's simple but it has a little bit of i don't know a little bit of fun to it with this little medallion thing right here and it was only like 14 dollars. i think i got it on sale and it has little straps which i don't have the straps they're in my house right now but um, it's nice because if you need straps, then there's straps for it. Um, and if you want to just wear it as a bandeau, then you can just wear it as a bandeau. But I would just wear it with black bottoms, and I think it's really cute. I love this bathing suit. So that is all that is inside of my beach bag. I hope that you guys enjoyed. And if you would like to follow me on Twitter or Instagram, my username is Brie Loves Beauty. You can follow me on Tumblr, too. Um, I really love Instagram. I post on there way too much. So if you like photography or pictures or you just want to get to know me more <laughs> then you can follow me on instagram if you'd like to thank you so much for watching this video and let me know what your top favorite number one thing that you have to bring to the beach with you is okay thanks everyone bye what is on my iphone